Do you snore or do you have a loved one who snores? If so, there's something really important that I want you to know. Hi, I'm Dr. Nagori. I'm an ophthalmologist and a glaucoma specialist. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the relationship between vision loss and snoring. Now, if you are someone who snores, it's very important to let your primary care doctor know, but it's also important to let your eye doctor know. If you snore, it could be a sign of something called OSA or obstructive sleep apnea. So OSA can present in a few different ways. Um, it can present with snoring, it can present with having daytime sleepiness or having to gasp for air at night. Now, what many patients don't know is that obstructive sleep apnea is actually related to glaucoma and having sleep apnea can actually increase your risk for glaucoma. Glaucoma is a blinding eye disease and so it's really important to be tested for it. So if you have OSA, you should also be seeing an eye doctor. Now, it's an important thing to note that not everyone who snores will actually have a diagnosis of sleep apnea, but getting tested is really important because both OSA and glaucoma are actually very treatable. And also vice versa, someone who has OSA may not necessarily have glaucoma, but the two are related and the risk is increased. So how are the two related? It's all about oxygenation of the optic nerve. So when a patient has sleep apnea and they're gasping for air, they're having hypoxic episodes at night, which means that for short periods of time, a lower amount of oxygen is getting to the organs in the body, and this is causing ischemia and death of cells. And the eye is actually one of those organs. So it's important that just like the rest of the organs in the body, that the eye gets enough oxygen so that it can function well. So this is a little different than the traditional way that glaucoma gets worse, which is from having really high eye pressures. In this case, patients with sleep apnea and glaucoma may not necessarily have really high eye pressures. So if you are diagnosed with sleep apnea, it's very important to get treated for sleep apnea, not just for the health of your eye, but also for the health of your body. Because sleep apnea, because it affects your heart and lungs, can actually kill you over time. And if you're someone who already has sleep apnea, it's a good idea to also be tested for glaucoma. We hope you found this video helpful. Please support the channel by liking and subscribing below. And if you have any other questions I can answer, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching.